you're going to brush this with mustard. So pass the mustard out, my love. Okay. Okay, lid off. It really is back to basics, <laughs> isn't it? Come on, you've taken a lid off mustard. Right, brush the top of mustard. Sorry? Any particular type Dijon of mustard? Dijon mustard we use. Pommery, it's basically too grainy, oh, but you can use English mustard. We don't have to use the French right, type. So just, so just brush all on there and all on the fat there. Okay. Right, okay, then this goes straight in the oven, like so. We're going to put on our herb crust, like so. Okay, and then that's back in the oven. And you just cook it now for a further two minutes just to caramelise it and then we're done. Right. Okay, so what you have is your beautiful tomatoes there, they're all ready to go. And the last thing we're going to do is clear away all my mess, is sauté a few little uh, courgettes off. Okay, right. so we're just going to either, I mean you can slice them how you want, we're going to do little slices like so, straight like that, in a pan. Get a little heat there and then your courgettes in like so. And you can cut them into discs, you can cut them lengthways, you know, however you want to do them, that's entirely up to you. Okay, so that's going to go there. You've got your plates here. You're going to put your tomatoes beautifully on there. You always serve them on. Yeah, well. I think it looks nice to serve them on the vine like yeah. that. We're going to add a few little olives, because this is our anisoise. We've got our balsamic to pour on. We've got a little bit of olive oil. You've got your courgettes ready there. We're going to take our lamb out. Okay. Just allow that there. And you see the crust is starting to crust up. Right. We've cooked it to medium rather than medium rare because I think, you know, it's always safer to go a bit slightly more cooked with lamb, I think, rather than too under. Okay. But our courgettes there. We're going to do a little uh, Matthew Fort now with our herbs and put this beautiful <laughs> basil all over. Okay, touch of the really delicious balsamic. Just on top, just a few dribbles, not to overpower us, okay? Yeah. And then a touch of olive oil. Okay, and then we're going to take our lamb out, shake off any excess. And this is easily enough for sort of, you know, three to four people. And then we're going to cook, um, cut rather, these beautiful racks. Okay. And there you go. Okay, lovely Welsh lamb, the Nishwa garnish. Just about to put sugar on there and a little touch of salt on top. Okay, so roasted rack of lamb with herb crust, Nishwa garnish for your next birthday or anniversary. Yeah? <laughs> Ready to eat? Yes, indeed, Matthew. You Let's make space. Let's clear a bit around here. Okay, I think there's there one go. each. Observe mm. there. Okay, now you're going to cook it for, for Alan. Uh, Alan, you've got to actually know what you've got to <laughs> judge it against. So he's got to hit. And you Excuse made me. the tomatoes, so taste your tomatoes, mm. remember, they were mm. yours. Mm. What do you reckon? Mm. Oh, it's fabulous, I love the herb crust. I, I, mm. I just think that's a great way of doing it. Mm. And do you think you'll be able to cook this? I will have a try it. <laughs> and will you have a try eating it? With a bit of guidance, I think she'll cook it. Now, if you want to impress someone by making this rack of lamb niçoise, here's what you need to buy. To make Angela's rack of lamb niçoise, go to a good butcher's and order a French trimmed rack of lamb. You'll also need breadcrumbs, Dijon mustard, butter, olive oil, and balsamic vinegar. At the Green Graces, you need to buy courgettes, vine ripened tomatoes, black olives, flat leaf parsley, rosemary, thyme, garlic, and basil.